Mike, I feel like we have hopped into a DeLorean because <gasps> we're traveling back in time, baby. Ooh. This is FLX Beer Reviews, another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, take me back. Mike, show me the past. In the deep depths of the cellar. <gasps> My cellar. What do I have to We do? have stumbled upon oh, no. a real treat that Michael J. Fox would probably find in his trip back to Hill Valley. Hill Valley. 1955. Indeed. Uh, sooner. Well, it's not quite that old, but almost. No, no, not quite. Uh, so this is <laughs> from the Sierra Nevada Brewing <sighs> Company, and this is their Bigfoot Barley Wine Style L. Oh, I've had that And before. so this is the 2013 edition. Oh! oh. This son bitch is at least 10 years no, old. At least. Uh, there's no bottle on date. There's some weird lock code. <sighs> yep. But it, so it's at least 10. Could be. All I can say is I've never had one this old. Yeah, so this is going to be a real treat. This is incredible. Uh, I can't wait to really dive into Man, this. I'm so. glad I saved it. Yeah, wow. definitely. It's, it's almost great. like I forgot about it. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah. um, Bigfoots. We've had Bigfoots. We've had them fresh. We've had them two, three years old. Mm -hmm. This is old. Um, yeah, so Tell if, me about you, it. if you don't know who Sierra Nevada is, um, they are in California, Chico, California. And they actually have uh, another sister... Uh, facility in i want to say north carolina yeah 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 um so yeah so bigfoot is a beast of a beer <laughs> brimming with flavor from massive amounts of roasted malt and spicy hops brewed in the barley wine style with a rich bittersweet body and whole cone pacific northwest tops nine oh, percent abv so the great thing about uh bigfoot is so it's an american style so it, it's, yes versus the english i prefer english mm -hmm. um but it, it's a really an aggressively hopped kind of barley wine style and bigfoot oh, age is so hissed. wonderful yeah that, no that's great there's no residuals <laughs> yeah no rust under the cap I, uh, I feel like this has been treated very 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 that's well what i do with my collection i treat them well so i'm gonna pour kind of gentle here mm -hmm. I don't know how much is what, so because there is, there's got to be something. Down oh yeah, there's there, a huge. Like, oh yeah, if you, if, I, yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but there, there's definitely some yeah. sediment down there. So, um, Dan, is it safe to assume we like barley wines? He says yes. Yeah. All right, ready. I'm a. Oh, you're doing it. Oh, look at the bottom of the bottle. That's all you. That is all you. Oh, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at it all. Look at it. That's where the flavor lives. Yeah. Well, there is a, well, Dirty Glass, Dirty glass Mafia. Mafia. But uh, that is a, a rich toffee, ambery kind of red. I mean, it's it's filled with shit. Yeah, I mean, we Look definitely disturbed it, it. Yeah, we agitated it, as some might say. A um, little bit of a head on there dissipates. It doo doo bounce, as old Matt from Massive Beer yeah. used to say. <laughs> exactly. Doo doo the jams. Doo doo. Doo doo jams. Um, it looks fantastic. Leaving some legs on the side. I'm. I want to see how oxidized this thing is. <laughs> that is the color of oxidation. Oh my goodness. It's still, you still, it's still hoppy a little bit. It's still small. Hoppy brown bread. Isn't this like a personified celebration? Oh, yeah. We, we, and you can smell the age on it. Like you can, it, it smells heavy. Like it, that it's been just resting for a while. Dare I say 10 years. You know how, you know how celebration, like when you get that new batch, it, yeah. it smells like crisp, but it's these yep. aromas. Yeah. This one smells like just. Okay. So. Peace. Yes, I am. I'm getting sweet caramel. Uh, a, a, a little toffee. Oh, yeah. A little peanut. Mm -hmm. But I think that's actually, there is a little bit of cardboardy kind of. Like, you can tell this is. But, yeah, but I would expect a little yeah. of that in there. But you, there is a little bit of that sweet hot presence. Like, it's, yeah. it's like, a, like, 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 like a. Like a red, red, red berry, kind of like um, cascady kind of uh, funk to it. I get kind of a, a a subdued fresh cherry note to it, and some like uh, 
like there's definitely a prune kind of raisiny. It's definitely more of a prune note. I'm getting a lot of oxidation now. We'll see. Let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Dude. Dude, the hop. The hop. That flavor. is still bitter as shit, man. That is, that is West Coast <laughs> IPA. To the extreme. Jesus, that is Dear so God. bitter still. It's bitter hot. You are chewing on hops in this beer. So I've had I've had some years where it just turns into like the hops subdue so much, it almost turns into an English style. But this is so much very American. Like Okay. Take take a sip. Mm. Kind of swirl around before you swallow it. There is that caramely toffee note before it just gets to that hop citrus bitterness back there it's wow so that that sweet malty kind of thing mm -hmm. like i think most people would associate this with um when you drink like a hoppy red ale like celebration mm -hmm. i like right? celebration yep um even though they call that uh winter ipa it's, sure, it's well, a hoppy red ale whatever. i'll tell you what it is um yeah um, um but yeah dude wow. so imagine a deep, it, it, there's almost like a deep chocolate to it. Very much so. Like a, yeah. a deep chocolate to kind of accompany that caramel kind of mm -hmm. multi bready sweetness. But the hops, it comes off like, it, it's it's pine. Like pine All bitterness. All day. Like, like Centennial and Cascade, like all oh, the seas. All the seas. All the bittering citrus sea hops. Probably a little Amarillo in here too, I would think. And I think it's it is accompanied by your toffee, super rich dark chocolate notes, uh, the br the brown sweet bread. On the back end, very slightly, you get that kind of roasty cardboard thing going on from the just aging. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 so weird. This drink almost drinks like a. There's like an age part part of it, yeah. but then it's like, hey, I'm a fresh barley wine from, I'm a fresh Bigfoot. Dude, I just got like fresh grapefruit out of it. Like it just exploded out of the back. It's, it's so good. So uh, I also uh, have, I have, we have some other years and uh, we'll, we'll maybe open those up and do mm -hmm. them on the channel too. I think it's safe to say we can let them sit for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, nothing. It, they'll be interesting to see how the recipe has changed over the years. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I know it's still same, like, round about the same, but right, there are right. years where it's less hoppy than others, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that goes to say with, with a lot of these kinds of beers where it's like, one year varies from the next, but I'm just really happy we're documenting this so that next time we get some, I can go back and watch it and remember how good Boy, it that's is. something. I feel like maybe the ABV is gone because it's only 9.6. I could be wrong. But... You know, I'm glad you brought that up because it, it like, uh, there's no alcohol to be found, at least for me. Um, but I feel like if I was to guess, I'd be like, this has got to be a 12% ABV beer, you know, because just the tastes and flavors. Think you, about it. You feel like you're drinking less than like a triple. Yeah, like basically. You know like, what I mean? This is a crusher. It's a lawnmower beer, basically. Well, this crush is a, it, baby. This crush. Is a lawnmower barley wine. Damn, this is delicious. What do you rate it? This is so good. I'm like scratch and sniff. <laughs> am, I, am I gonna get more? Has it permeated the glassware? Yeah, that's um. Uh... I'll give it a four, four. It's delicious. Delicious. It is. I'll give, I'll give it a. I, now, I will tell you a personal preference. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm a little lower because I do enjoy uh, English styles a little bit better. But this is nice. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a four six. This I just can't believe how fantastic. expressive and how pronounced and how impactful that bittering hot bite is after ten years. 
Yeah, my goodness. It's like, this is like a fresh one. Somebody just like put this label on here just to trick people. But at the same time, it's like, this is like, it, it's settled into the epitome of comfort. Like everything about this is relaxed. I feel, I don't know what Joe from Joe's Arcade thinks about barley wines or anything like that, but I feel like you would really enjoy this. I'm sure he's had too bad you can't it. drink this one. What if I adjust us? the camera? Is it lighter? I don't, I don't care. Darker? I don't care. It's just something I gotta do in life. Oh, that 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 brought some nice color, I think. We'll see. Outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, this is wonderful. Um bit of a longer video, but yeah, doesn't whatever. matter. This this kind of beer warrants a longer video. It's a nice beer. I, I'm just I am shocked. I just I, I really honestly I expected to be Kind of like fully oxidized and... I expected only great things. My expectations were surpassed. I like it. like what you say. You just kind of take that bite and just swirl it. Or take that sip and just swirl it. Mm -hmm. and get 12 ounce bottle. Perfectly good amount to share. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like... You could drink the whole bottle, but I feel like this amount. I feel like I'm getting hot burned. How is that possible? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like these hops are a little fresh yeah. for me. What well, green um, experience. Uh, down in the description below, hit us up on the link trees. Uh, uh, it's got everything. Our untapped Instagrams, Twitters, emails, stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, hit us up. Uh, what's the oldest Bigfoot you've had? Not the oldest one you had, but, like, the longest time. So, mm -hmm. So the oldest? No, no, because like if you said if you bought a Bigfoot in 2010 and bought and drank in 2010, you could still say, "Well, I had in 2010. That's the oldest." What I'm asking is, aged. What's the longest aged Bigfoot you've had? Hope you watch this video fresh, because we certainly won't age well. Thanks for watching, everybody. We haven't 2021 videos. We look young, big time. Cheers. <laughs>